Love it. Seven million dongers. <laughs> Good evening, welcome to today's video. We're now millionaires, and we're on the way to Vietnam. I'm a millionaire, you have no money. Hey man, you look very smooth. Had to, uh, had to get as aero as possible, it's all about the aero gains, isn't it? It is. What are we doing now? Flying right? to Vietnam. Before that, we need to go to the pub. Beer. I found Wally. Still bike shaped? <laughs> Still well, we'll bike find shaped. out. We'll find out later when we uh, when we put the thing back together again. Wow, you're sweating. Just muscle three bikes in the back of a fucking van, mate. <laughs> Which of the 17 seats do you want to sit in? Uh, these two. Push the button. I pushed it. The button's been pressed, mate. It's loads of room in here. I feel like this isn't your best work. <laughs> so we've just asked the um, the concierge, if you can even call it that here, uh, where to put the, the rubbish, and she's just brought us out onto the street. This guy's oh, yeah, in this special place here. Lawrence is trying to organise it to make it look less shit. With great success. <laughs> With great, yeah. great success? Why don't we go to breakfast? What do they eat for breakfast in Vietnam? <laughs> Where's he taking it? I don't know. You've got it though. That's what happens if you if you leave your bike and go in for a, a, a bite to eat. You come out and someone's just it's like, gone. oh, a bicycle. <laughs> Two minutes later, all the posts would have been gone. So welcome to our first morning in Vietnam. We're just going to go and try and find some breakfast and get a SIM card for my phone. Because I had to unlock it and it wasn't unlocked at the airport. A bit of a disaster. A little bit annoying, but easily solved. Means we can have a bit of an explorer of the city. Lawrence was just pointing out to me, the guys in the green shirts here on mopeds. It's like Uber. You order them and then you just jump on the back and go. So if we all get on three separate ones, then God help I'm us. I'm not getting on the back <laughs> of one of those things. You made it. What did you do? A man just came and took them. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I think he'd wanted them. Okay, cool. Let's go. This is not for you. This is basically a tiny little baguette with pate and light hot sauce. <clears throat> do not drink that water. 2% of your vitamin C daily allowance. We've got to get across the road. How do you get across the road? Great difficulty. This place is wicked. It's bonkers. So we're um, we're heading into uh, the center of Hanoi to basically go and find Lawrence Croissants. <laughs> Lawrence has flown 7,000 miles, sorry, 6,000 miles, beg your pardon. 6,000 miles to eat croissants. If we find them. You should have seen him. It was like a surly teenager at breakfast. I'm perfectly out for Vietnamese food, just not for breakfast. Sorry, Matt Helmets. They send you a new helmet. They send me a new helmet. It. I'm going to wear that. this instead. What about this one? That one's cool, man. It's got a little visor. I think I'd get really hot in this. Better? So much better, man. This is good. So seeing as we get right in tomorrow, I thought it would be a nice opportunity to do a quick bike check, explain how my setup has changed since Australia, and um, maybe have a look at yours as well. So new colorway from Villa Trestina. This is another Yena, the same size as my last one, but this one has Shimano GRX installed on it. It's the new gravel group set from Shimano. It's got a clutch mech, slightly bigger cassette than my old setup as well. New chain rings, no power meter this time. And they've actually changed the clearance on the front mech as well, so it won't rub on your tires. They've moved it out by a couple of mil. The shape of the levers has changed as well. Uh, different pivot points, so they're a little bit more like riding a mountain bike lever. Fully hydraulic discs like last time as well. I'm once again running bottles on the front of the forks. Uh, Seeing as the distances are nowhere near the length of Australia, having them all in line doesn't really matter. Although I will work on a solution for future trips. Brand new lunchbox from Skin Grows Back. Because it's waterproof, this is where I keep all of my tech stuff, chargers, that sort of thing. I've uh, ditched the GoPro, and this time I'm trying the DJI Action Osmo. Wahoo Element Bolt. A little bit smaller than my last one. Check out this, mate. My hands get cold. Ride it on like that. Gone with a double food pouch this time because this one was so useful in Australia. It's just handy being able to grab stuff quickly. Not sure what's going to go in the second one as of yet. Frame bag, same as Australia. Bottles on the frame, different. So I've managed to use a Fidlock strap uh, to fix a bottle underneath my frame. And that's meant I can use two small bottles here 
uh, for a little bit of extra hydration. I'm actually using a bottle cage extender Oops. to lower my cage here so it doesn't conflict with the frame bag. Now all three of us for this trip are on tail fin racks. Uh, these guys got the extender on, I've got it nice and snug just underneath my saddle. Found a new place to mount a light, much better than where I had my old one, which was on this strap. You can actually just put it straight onto the rack there. Black diamond ski strap for carrying stuff, heavy stuff in emergencies. Changed to a specialized roaming saddle, which is what I've been using for years. I don't know why I tried to change. Uh, it's so much more comfortable. Fabric bar tape, some of the best bar tape you can get. Spin on these wheels this time, slightly deeper than my other ones. Harcourt's are fantastic wheels, but these ones were set up with these tires that I wanted to bring. And they're the slightly more aggressive Terras from Continental. I believe they're called the Terra Trail. Villier have actually developed a special handlebar for the Yena, which is uh, an integrated bar and stem. Because I wanted to get a negative stem on here, I'm not using it, but if you can fit it, it's super integrated and tidy. All in all, Looking pretty mean. You know, you said you wanted a Vietnamese flag for Lawrence's bike. So it might could be, be one of the uh, one of the many gargantuan things that we buy him to put on his bike. I watched that on the way here, actually, on the plane. Yeah, fun right? The um, the Vietnam Top Gear special. I'm excited about riding a bike tomorrow, especially given I haven't ridden a bike in probably two months. So we've been here for a day. What do you reckon to our noise so far? It's batshit crazy, isn't it? It's so crazy. Uh, it's great. It's great though. People are fantastic. The food's really good. I mean, like it, I, I read this. Um, this thing online about like, the do's and don'ts of, of, of traveling in Vietnam and like the do's the first one was eat everything grab spring roll for breakfast this morning with a very disgusted Lawrence sat across the road across the table from me going where's my croissant so tomorrow we are uh, about 100 miles to our uh, accommodation in Halong Bay exciting where you're gonna get loads of good drone footage I hope so. I suspect. you got stuff strapped to everywhere. Inner tube on the fork, tires on the tail fin. Because I come prepared for your lack of preparation as well. Cheers mate. Actually, not really you actually, it's more the dog. Thought so. I got a, cool, a few little like neat toys that, uh, that I brought along. This is one of my favourites. A water filtration system. You fill up from anywhere, like streams, the taps. You that. can't you can't drink tap water. Yep, that. I'm not going to because it's got clean water in it at the moment. You basically fill that up with water, put this in, push down really really hard and it basically forces it through a, a, a series of filters so it'll filter out like 99.9% .9 of the crap that you might you've drunk from it and you're not dead yet oh no it's quite it's quite a lightweight setup I say well it was a lightweight setup until I lashed a load of shit to it and now it weighs half a metric ton it's time for a beer don't you an air-conditioned beer <laughs> It's, it's so hot, just really sticky. Yeah. I mean, we've been talking about off camera that we're really looking forward to just being in Lycra and not wearing like heavy, I mean, look at this, look at this, it's ridiculous. We've literally cycled around the corner or maybe this is a measure of how fat and unfit I am. Maybe, time for a beer. It's definitely a lot busier now than it was earlier, isn't it? Rush hour. Yeah. There's no one here. decent space at the top of this building. I'm not sure why there isn't more people here. We thought it was going to be mega expensive as well. It's a pound for a beer. I guess that is expensive here. We should probably tell the viewers that it's been about an hour since you last filmed. And how many times have I asked us to bring more beer? Five times? Six times? It's because he did this. Dude. The thing that separates the, you know, the this this city from any other city is how good the people are. Like the people are the nuts. They they're so, so they're so friendly. They're so happy. And the, but there's no there's no ultimatum or anything. There's no you know there's never it doesn't come with a caveat. It's always kind of like they're so willing to help and just friendly. Cheers, guys. I feel a little bit bad for walking on the road, but the pavement is blocked by nearly everything. Obviously the way that it works here, you just have to walk on the road. 
think so. Look, there's just seats and motorcycles and stuff. This shop, Lawrence, stocks every item we could have wanted it's from Vietnam. Everything. 